Yo, yo, slap on your gloves, grab your tools of choice, and hey, meet me in your kitchen, y'all. Hey, I want to welcome you back to my channel. I am your man. Keep a cup, can cook. And hey, I got another fantastic one for you, y'all. It's still in that classic family. Hey, we're going to get down on this chicken, broccoli and rice casserole today, y'all. Hey. I've had this in a quite some time. I'm looking forward to eating some of this later on today, and I know a couple of other people that are, that are too. So let's get right on into it, y'all. Yeah. I'm gonna put a medium flame, no, medium high. Put a medium high flame over here, and I got me four tablespoons of good butter, y'all. Yeah. That's that unsalted, unsalted good butter. gonna get that melted through and I'm hoping I can get this skillet on there without making all that noise today let's see what we can do okay so yeah it's gonna get on my nerve today I already know it but anyway let's go let's get into this it's a fantastic one y'all Definitely want to put this back on your repertoire. It's definitely a classic, y'all. Okay, now that we got these, this butter pretty much melted, hey, I got me a cup, y'all. Just some diced onions right here. We want to get these onions saturated in this good butter and get them softened up. We go kind of help it along the way with a little pinch of salt. Want to get these translucent on this one right here, y'all. I'm a good fan of butter and onions. How was y'all day today? I'm gonna tell you, y'all. I had kind of a trying day today. It was okay, but it was trying. I could tell you that much. I couldn't wait to get out and get home, y'all, today. And you know, the first thing I did when I got here, I was looking for my cup. Ah, yeah. Sounding like my skillet is finally up to tip and it's doing its thing on these onions. We want to get these onions translucent, y'all. We're really going to soften these onions up today. We're doing a casserole. Nobody wants to bite down on crunchiness in their casserole. I can tell you, it smells good, y'all. I love that butter and onions, y'all. I love the smell of butter and onions. I love the smell of freshness, y'all. It's always good to use fresh ingredients, y'all. It has your house smelling amazing, y'all. Then I'm about to go in with a tablespoon, y'all. Just that fresh thyme. We're gonna let those oils and those fragrance release. Now 
That's that popping sound that you may hear. The oil is being released from that time. And I'm telling you, your kitchen is dynamic right about now. Trust this process, y'all. And if you've been liking this video and the other video, definitely hit, give me that thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, I need you to scroll over there and hit that subscribe button. And I need everybody to share these videos with everybody that you know. And then you know what? Tell them to share it with everybody they know that there's another channel out here, y'all. He is doing it. He is doing it. And his name is Keeper Cup. King Cup. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. Now, I got me about a tablespoon and a half of fresh diced garlic that we want to introduce. And at the same time, hey, check it out, y'all. I got me a tablespoon. That's the red bell peppers. Then I got a a half a tablespoon of orange and green bell pepper shell going in. We're going to build some flavor and some color contrast, y'all. We're going to step it up. That's right, we're going to step the game up on this classic chicken, broccoli, and rice casserole. Now on that chicken, y'all, I went to the store, yep, and I got a rotisserie chicken and I just cut it in half and I broke it down, y'all. Took all the meat out, took the skin, threw the skin away, Actually, I probably I ate a little bit of that skin, y'all. But just half the chicken, half the rotisserie chicken. Now, you already know the deal. I'm gonna use that other half for something else later. I don't know just yet what it's gonna be, but you know I ain't gonna just throw it away. bell peppers, onions, and garlic in there. We about, essentially, we about to make a roux, y'all. I got me some fly, all-purpose flour right here. Go hit it up with two tablespoons. That's that all-purpose flour. Get that moved around in there. Let the rawness cook off of it. It's gonna come to a, a thick paste consistency but that's what you want. But we're gonna continue to toast that flour up. Cook the raw off of it. I'm telling you y'all don't skip this step. Skip this step. Hey, I'm about to bump it up to a medium high, y'all. Okay, after you give giving that flour, 
a chance to cook off that rawness for a couple of minutes. Hey, what we gonna do? We gonna introduce, hey, I got one cup, y'all. This is that homemade chicken broth that I had. Get that moved around. Get it smoothed up. We don't want no lumps, y'all. Oh, uh, yeah. Looking good. I don't know what's going on with my lighting, but hey, buckle up, y'all. Buckle up. Oh, and if I haven't said it already before, preheat your oven. 350 degrees, y'all. Okay, now, what we want to do right here. I got me two cups, y'all. This is whole milk. Not 2%, not skim, whole milk, two, two cups. We're going to introduce it. And if you can have it already room temperature, even better. Okay, while this is coming up to temp, I got one thing I need to get. I got me some chicken bouillon, y'all. I'm gonna hit it up with like a, let's see. Yeah, a tablespoon, that chicken bouillon. Then we gonna hit it up, y'all. Hey, I got me a tablespoon. That's paprika, a teaspoon, actually a half a teaspoon of dry mustard and a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, y'all. Going in. You know that paprika for that color, the cayenne for a little bit of a kick, and that mustard for flavor, y'all. Trust the process, y'all. Trust the process. Now check this out, y'all. What you have right here, cream of mushroom soup. I mean, cream of chicken soup. That's what you got right there. Cream of chicken soup. Don't need to go buy it in the can. See how simple that was to put together? Trust the process, y'all. I am your man. Keep a cup can cook, but we want to keep this moving. It's going to thicken up some more. We're still on a medium high flame, y'all. But watch how we about to switch up the game real quick with one ingredient. We get ready to switch the whole game up. Watch this. 
mushrooms, y'all. Going in. Now you got cream and mushroom soup. Just that easy, y'all. Now you want to hit it up with some cracked black pepper. You can be generous with this. It loves it. Now we want to reduce this heat to a low. thinking what are you thinking all right now after you took it down your temp down to a low I got me a tablespoon y'all it's that sour cream we just gonna introduce it we're gonna, gonna bring a little creamy factor to it. Bring some creaminess to it. If you don't have the sour cream, definitely if you got cream cheese, put some cream cheese in there. Okay, now, I got me some sharp cheddar cheese, y'all. You want to grate your cheese, y'all. I'm telling you, it melts better and faster. Now I'm going to introduce my broccoli. This was frozen broccoli, y'all, but you can use fresh. Can you see it coming together right before your very eyes, y'all? And don't forget, preheat your oven, 350 degrees, y'all. Remember that rotisserie chicken I talked about? Now you want to introduce it. Get everyone in there speaking to each other. Yeah, get them to know one another. Business up in there. And I tell you, it's smelling amazing, y'all. Oh, man. 
Check it out, y'all. Check it out, y'all. I am your man. Keep a cup, keep cook. All right, I'm about to kill this heat all the way. I'm gonna move this over a tad bit, y'all, because I got me a casserole dish right here. And as you can see, I already got it buttered up, y'all. Got the butter all over the bad boy. Cause we about to do this, y'all. Hey, I did say chicken, broccoli, and rice. It's already done, y'all. Got me some cooked rice, two cups. Actually about two and a half cups. We gonna go ahead and get that. Cause we gonna layer this bad boy, y'all. All right, got me some rice down in there. Oh man, do you like the way I'm putting it together right before your very eye? We're gonna put a little bit of moat cheese right there. Oh man, can you see what I'm talking about, y'all? We're gonna hit it up with a little bit of this deliciousness right here. Get that leveled up a little bit. We're going to come right back with that rice. That's right, y'all. We're doing a classic chicken, broccoli, and rice casserole. Keep a cup and cook style. Absolutely. Don't slip on this one. Don't slip on this one. We're going to use all that up. That's right, child. Nothing goes to waste. Nothing goes to waste. Now I'm going to hit it up with a little bit more sharp right there. Just to finish that on up too. Like I said, nothing goes to waste. All right, we're gonna hit this up. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what we got here. Of course, I don't want it to overflow or nothing. Save that for me for later as it's cooking. Cause we gonna pop this in a 350 degree oven, but we gonna finish it up with some Kobe Jack, y'all. Oh man. We gonna pop it in that 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes, y'all. And I'm telling you, when they come out of there, watch out now. Watch out now. Oh yeah, and there you have it, child. Chicken, broccoli and rice casserole. Hey, we about to put it in that 350 degree sauna. Hey, and I guarantee you, y'all, Within 30 minutes or a little bit more, I'll be back, y'all. And we're going to go in for the plating and the taste test. I'll be back. All right, y'all. I am your man. Keep a cup, can cook. And hey, as I promised, I'm back. Hey, look at the final product, y'all. But first, let me hold on. I felt a little parched right there. But hey, check it out, y'all. We got it, y'all. It's on deck. That's that chicken. Rice and broccoli casserole. Hey, it's looking good. Hey, it was in my oven. 
350 degree for exactly 30 minutes as I said and I'll let it rest for 10. Now, what we about to do, we about to go in for this plating, y'all. Hey, this is another fantastic classic dish, y'all. You got to bring it back to your kitchen table, y'all. I am your man. Come on. And if you like this video, definitely give me the thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, y'all. And then everybody out there, share this video with somebody that you know and tell them to share it with somebody they know. Hey, I'm on that journey, y'all. I'm still on that journey. Let's go in for this plate, y'all. Oh, I don't even know where to start at, y'all. But we about to get it. We about to get it. Look at what your man keep a cup can cook undone. Look at that. I'm gonna have to give me a little more of this. That's right. The plating. Oh my goodness, y'all. Hey, I'm going to kick this off the screen. And here you have it, y'all. Chicken, broccoli, and rice casserole. Oh, yeah, y'all. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know, it wouldn't be me if I didn't finish it with a pop of color, y'all. It wouldn't be me. Let me give you one more up close and personal look. Oh yeah. Come on, let's go in for the taste test, y'all. But before I do, definitely, I need you to, for sure, share this video, like this video, and hey, Give me them thumbs up, y'all. I'm on that journey to a thousand subscribers. Hey, let's go in for this taste test, y'all. I'm gonna pick it up close to you. Yeah, check it out, y'all. Chicken, broccoli, and rice casserole. Hey, I am your man. Keep a cup can cook. Mm -hmm -hmm. Ah, yeah. And I'm out of here, y'all. Bye.